Hello everyone. So today I want to talk about uh, how to get started with org mode. And uh, this is uh, I believe uh, one of the most difficult or challenging thing that you may have to do in case you are trying to use Emacs and org mode and in case you think uh, you can uh, use it for your needs. I think getting started with Emacs and org mode I'm 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 using org mode and Emacs together because uh, my focus is to talk about org mode uh, with Emacs because that is what uh, most people want to do when they think of Emacs of course Emacs can do a lot of wonderful things and uh, that is what I have been uh, trying to cover on my YouTube channel but uh, org mode is probably or maybe I, I think it is probably one of the uh, one of the most glamorous feature of Emacs because it is great. I, I believe uh, org mode is uh, is an amazing uh, achievement, uh, technological achievement. I would say. I mean, it is. I, I don't think. Uh, uh, I, I don't think uh, there is any other system that can achieve uh, what org mode can, and it is so simple. But the thing is that when you're starting to learn in the beginning, you have so many things uh, that you uh, will notice online. I mean, if you search for org mode or Emacs in general, you will, find, you will find plenty of videos. You will find a lot of documentation. And and getting started is, I believe, uh, the most difficult thing because people, when they encounter so much information they get confused and uh, maybe they just give up and i think uh, giving up emacs i know a lot of people who tried emacs and org mode and uh, they just gave up after a couple of days and uh, to be honest uh, to fully understand and use emacs and org mode to to use org mode to to do something useful for you you, you need to spend at least a couple of months. So there is no shortcut. Uh, in this video, I'm not really going to tell you that uh, you can start using org mode and uh, you know solve your life problems within uh, an hour or two. But you can get started. Definitely you can get started uh, very quickly and easily. And that is what I wanted to do today. I wanted to give you some tips and uh, share uh, some of my experience because I also tried adopting e or org mode i was using emacs for a while but of course you know when i started using org mode i think i i don't really remember when i to be honest i i i have no idea when i started using org mode definitely uh it has been uh, if i'm not wrong 10 years at least uh but i i may be wrong but i have been using it for a while and in the beginning I was using org mode in the most simplest manner and that is what I do uh, with I believe almost anything new that I'm trying to learn or adopt. I try to use it to solve simple problems and then I gradually add different uh, levels of skills to get the most out of it. So basically if you're trying to learn org mode, don't really learn it with the intention to learn it use it with the intention to solve your actual problems. And I think uh, if you search online and if you try to f find out what is org mode, then of course, you know, you will get a lot of information. And uh, once you're clear with uh, the goal, I think that goal should be very clear. Like what do you want to achieve with org mode? Your, your goal could be to use org mode for note taking. That is it. That is all you can do in the beginning. Just use it to take notes and that is it don't don't use it for tracking your work don't use it to plan your uh, activities on calendar or with time just take notes with it plenty of notes with it and uh, to be honest when i started using org mode i already had a lot of uh, my text files so i used to i think for like five years roughly or no not really five years but um i started doing things seriously on computer in 1999 when uh, when I had my computer with me and I used to of course uh, do a lot of things on computer it was the time when I was uh, doing my engineering and uh, as part of our engineering we had to code we, we learned coding programming C C++ and uh, most of the 
files back then were of course uh, the CPP files and uh, and and things were of course uh, straightforward and simple but I always had this habit of uh, keeping text files like txt files with me uh, where I was maintaining my notes so I, I always had a text based note taking system uh, my, my set of files which I used to organize in different folders so when I looked at org mode in the beginning I was of course using it I straight away started using it for note taking because that is what I was doing but there are so many wonderful things that you can do with org mode because uh, I think I talked about uh, like organizing your notes your, you know not your notes but I think I should say headers and uh, folding and uh, then I of course added few additional bits and pieces like uh, I also started using it for uh, keeping track of my to do items my task and I was using org mode for uh, uh, maintaining my journal so in the beginning for I believe uh, uh, six months seven months I was just uh, using org mode for note taking and that gave me enough time to uh, be comfortable with various shortcuts and commands and whenever I am uh, so pe pe usually if you if you look at uh, those youtubers they have a lot of uh, customizations which of course I also have a lot of my own customizations that is how you get the most out of uh, these tools but uh, I in the beginning was uh, trying not to use too many shortcuts because I had no idea how to use a shortcut I was of course using the default behavior of uh, Emacs but the good thing is that you have this init file in Emacs where you can have your own customizations the way you want to work you can have your own uh, modes and you can also um, change variables so many things I mean for example in my Emacs file in my Emacs init file I have my my configurations for posting a blog so when I publish a blog it saves everything to a folder but again I, I started doing things customization after like six months at least after six months if I remember correctly and uh, when I started uh, using Emacs of course I'm, I'm also talking about Emacs because uh, org mode is within Emacs I think uh, you have to get some idea about uh, how Emacs works like in the beginning don't do too many things I mean I'm talking about people who are new to Emacs so learn how to do things like uh, open Emacs close Emacs, how to save a file, how to do cut, copy, undo, how to search, how to um, how to basically open files, how to create a new directory. So you can actually use Emacs uh, using the diet mode, you can actually use it to uh, manage your files and uh, and once you're comfortable with those commands, I know once you are happy with the control X, control S, to be honest I don't even know the commands, I, I my finger can do everything because it is in my muscle memory but uh, in the beginning number one I think uh, you need to have a goal like what you want to achieve uh, your goal number one could be to use e org mode for note taking then your goal number two could be to use Emacs for task management your goal number three could be to use Emacs for uh, for publishing a blog for example and, and I think once once you do these things then of course you can uh, when you have this system of doing different things within uh, Emacs you can also use Emacs for doing a lot of other wonderful things like uh, for example uh, managing your files or uh, or maybe you want to use it for reading your RSS feed or uh, managing your music uh, you, you can do a lot of wonderful things and I think uh, once you Across that initial one year period uh, of uh, learning curve I think there is a learning curve so there is no so again I'm not really saying you can do it you can do wonderful things in few hours in few hours in the beginning I think uh, keep it simple the, the very first time you open Emacs learn how to open it learn how to close it and if you're coming from uh, Vim then uh, it of course it will be different and it will be it may seem much more complicated it is complicated definitely but again Emacs is not really just uh, an editor it is, uh, it is it is an operating system and a uh, lot of people use Emacs uh, just as their operating system I mean, you can do because you can do a lot of wonderful, wonderful things with Emacs I think I've talked about uh, how to use Emacs to browse your 
simple websites. I mean, to be honest, I can also open my own website if I have to, which is in Drupal, which is uh, not simple at all, but uh, it still works because my website is in Drupal and Drupal is great. And uh, if you have a simple website, then of course you can open it in Emacs. But to be honest, uh, using Emacs for browsing the web is probably uh, a bit weird because I think uh, web is uh, very uh, visual. But I have a lot of, lot of experience uh, working with uh, uh, accessibility and, uh, and I know how it works. I am familiar with the screen readers and that is why I, pre I appreciate that when you when you're using a tool like Emacs, you have the ability to do things, everything that you want to do uh, by just using your uh, keyboard. You may not even use a mouse. To be honest, the mouse that I use is this cheap, um, I can't really, I mean the wire is a bit short, but it's a cheap uh, um, one pound mouse. So that is the relevance of mouse for me. Let me show you. So I'll just uh, bring in here. So this, so this is the mouse that I use and and as you can see this mouse is uh, uh, not at all great. I'm sure uh, in few, I'm sure in few weeks or months or maybe tomorrow it will stop working but to be honest I don't really use mouse too, mu too much. I use it for browsing but not really when I'm uh, doing things on uh, Emacs and uh, and uh, Yes, coming back to the point. So in the beginning, don't try to do too much. You will get overwhelmed and you will give up, which is, I think, quite normal human behavior. When you are when you are trying to achieve everything in one go quickly, then it can uh, it, it it can be uh, really difficult to come back to Emacs. And I think that is that would that would be a shame because if if you if you if you make a wrong, if, if you start it with the intention of achieving everything, I mean, by watching, of course, a lot of YouTube videos, I mean, there are a lot of YouTube channels that, I mean, not a lot, but there are some YouTube channels that I also follow, and I'm actually able to follow them because uh, uh, I just need to pick up things that are uh, relevant for me, because I already have experience of uh, doing things with Emacs. But if you're new, focus on just getting comfortable with doing simple things at least for the first uh, few few months and then start building your knowledge by adding additional things to your uh, to your uh, Emacs skill set and org mode of course so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you thank you very much